Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have an interesting and challenging problem for us. We have two unknown capacitors, C1 and C2, and when we connect them in parallel, their total capacitance or equivalent capacitance is 18 microfarads, but when we connect them in series, their total capacitance is 4 microfarads. We need to find the values of C1 and C2. Well, when Capacitors are connected in parallel, we simply add them algebraically, which means that in this case, C total must be equal to C1 plus C2, which then implies that the total being 18 is equal to C1 plus C2. And we're leaving off the units to make it cleaner and easier to work with the equations. In the case of them being in parallel, we can say that 1 over C total is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, or we can write that C total is equal to the product divided by the sum. I like this equation better, so I tend to use that one instead. Which means in this case that 4 is equal to the product, that would be C1 times C2 divided by the sum, C1 plus C2. So now what we have here is we have these two equations which we must solve simultaneously. Well, for one, what we could do is we could say this C1 plus C2 being 18 could substitute in for the denominator here. So when we do that, we end up with 4 is equal to C1 times C2 divided by 18, or when I multiply, that would be 72 is equal to C1 times C2. And now we have ourselves two simpler equations. Now we're going to solve these simultaneously. That will make it a little bit easier. So what we're going to do here is we're going to solve this equation for one of the unknowns, plug that into the other equation. So starting with this equation here, we can write that C1 is equal to 18 minus C2, and take that form of the equation and plug it into this equation. So that means that now we have 72 is equal to C1, but instead of writing C1, we're going to write 18 minus C2, make the arrow smaller right there, times, oh, let's see here, um, C1 times C2, like that. And notice, now we have an equation with only C2 in it. It looks like it's going to be a quadratic equation, but that's okay, we can solve those. So we end up with 72 is equal to 18C2 minus C2 squared. Moving everything over to one side, we have C2 squared minus 18C um, plus 72 is equal to zero. And that looks like it's probably factorable. So let's try to factor that. So we have C and C. We need to have two negative signs, and two numbers when multiply gives me 72, when add gives me 18. Uh, 6 and 8 looks like it might be it. 6, 6 and 8, no, not 6 and 8, 6 and 12, because 6 times 12 is 72, and 6 plus 12 is 18. That is it. So conclusion, oh, and this should be C2, of course, that means that C2 is equal to 6, or C2 is equal to 12. Well, let's take one of our solutions. Let's take C2 equals to 6. And we plug that back into this equation right here. So we have 18 is equal to C1 plus C2. But if C2 is equal to 6, that means 18 is equal to C1 plus 6, or C1 is equal to 12. And that would be the other solution that C2 can be. So there's the, there's the answer. If we let C2 equals 12, C1 will be 6. If we let C2 be 6, C1 will be 12. So either way, it doesn't matter. We can then say that the two solutions, C1 is equal to 6 microfarads, and C2 is equal to 12 microfarads works just as fine. And we can reverse the order, and it makes no difference. This is the solution. And if you quickly want to check, Add them together, you get 18, do the product over the sum. 6 times 12 is 72, divided by the sum, which is 18. 72 divided by 18 does indeed give you 4. It looks like it checks, and that's how you find the solution to this particular problem.